there's less than seven minutes left in the catch of the day fish challenge. Are you okay? Fucking mess. And Van's Dover soul is looking like the one that got away. You all right? Do you need any help, Van? Oh, Van? Van. Fucking hell. I'm frustrated right now. I had to throw the first pizza fish out, but I got another pizza fish. I'm about to get it on. I could be screwed here if I don't pull this off. Just under two minutes to go. Fuck. Gotta start breathing. Come on, guys, finish strong. Get out of here. Sorry, sorry. Come on, Robin. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Well done. Now, I do have something very important to tell you right now. I'm sending today's winning team to Las Vegas. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh, my god. I just want to get out of this place, and I'm just freaking out. I want to go to Vegas. You got to win this one, y'all. Right, listen carefully, all of you. I can't think of a better judge to help me today. His outstanding restaurant, Providence, is a fish paradise and has earned two Michelin stars. Please welcome. Chef Michael Chimarusi. Thank you. Oh, I'm super excited. Michael Chimarusi, I'm a big fan of his. You well? I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, very well indeed, thank you. I love seafood. He has a beer like mine. And he's not afraid to show it off. The beer game is strong. Right, let's start off with the battle of the cod. Let's go, please. Come on, Jennifer. Let's go, on, Nick. Nick. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. Oh, the New Englanders are up here. <laughs> I see y'all. Uh. Nick, go fish. This Massachusetts girl, I got a few things up my sleeve. Jennifer, why don't we start off with you? Chefs, it's pan-seared cod, and then some candy pecans and Harry Covert with some soy sauce. Nice balance. Salty, sweet, I get that. And seasoned well. Thanks, Chef. Fish and nails. I mean, beautiful. Glistening in the center, crispy skin on top. Jennifer, well done. Yes. Uh, Nick, describe the dish, please. Chefs, what you have is a pan-roasted cod, some crispy prosciutto, and a lemon chive beurre blanc. So you decided to take the skin off the cod? Yes, Chef, I'm not a fan of um, cod skin. What? I would definitely go with Jennifer in the red. Nice job, Jennifer! Nice job, Jennifer. Nice job, Jennifer! Nick, you know what? I'm going to go pack. <laughs> right, next up, the battle of the grouper. Let's go. Awesome, Robin. Okay. Let's start off with you, Robin. Describe a dish to Chef, please. I have a seared grouper with salsa braid on the bottom, topped it with the avocado crema. I like the creaminess of the avocado with the fish and the salsa verde. Good job. Thank you, Chef. Michelle, please describe the dish. Uh, chef, I have a cast iron grouper. The broth on the bottom is cucumber, lemongrass. You know, when you have a big block of fish like that, you really have to like season aggressively on all sides. I, I got to give it to Robin. Good job, Robin. Thank good you, job. Chef. Yeah. What the hell, Robin? Like, why couldn't you produce these good dishes when you were on the red team? You have to go to the blue team and then beat me? All right. The score is now tied, and the red team is hoping that Elise has pulled off some magic with her snapper and her three additional ingredients. It kind of feels like two dishes. Rather than being a red snapper dish, it's more of a quinoa dish. I only got three ingredients, so I'm at a disadvantage. I'm so sick and tired of hearing Elise and all these excuses. Sorry, Chef. She put herself at a disadvantage. You're right, Chef. It was Sorry. my fault. So asparagus are expected two or three ways that would have helped bulk up the ingredients that you're missing. Millie, please describe the chef. What we have here is a Caribbean red snapper and cinnamon yams. Mm, I like that. Mm. You've put so much flavor into that piece of fish that it just sort of like stays with you. I got to give it to Millie. Thank you. Thank you all. Elise, you can't blame anyone but yourself for only choosing three ingredients. Boop, boop, boop. Have fun in the dorms. The blue team now leads by one, as Benjamin's Arctic char with peas and pancetta. Love the presentation. Thank you, chef. The fish is cooked beautifully. Faces off against Dana's Atlantic char with chorizo hash. The hash is very delicious. Good flavor with the chorizo and the celery. Absolutely on point. Chef, that's a tough one. You think I have to give a point to each? Yes. And to each. Thank, Thank you. you. Chef. Thank you. With the blue team maintaining their small lead. We're still in there. It all comes down to Barbie's Dover sole with creamed leeks. The fish is cooked pretty well, I think. Good job. Versus Van's potato scale Dover sole with bacon and Swiss chard. This dish works. The potato scales are awesome. Thank you. Yes, Van. So this is a tough one, chef. 
I can't even right now. I can't, I can't. This is so nerve wracking. I just have one question for you. Yes, sir. Are you feeling lucky? Oh, I'm feeling <laughs> lucky, baby. Because you're going to Vegas. Yeah! 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 Let's go, Vegas! Thank you, Chef. Hell yeah, I'm feeling lucky, Chef. <laughs> Let's go, Blue Team. We're going to Vegas, baby. Yes. Yes. I guess I got to unpack my bags. All of you, uh, join me in thanking Chef for giving up his day to be here to judge this incredible competition. Thank you, Chef. Thanks Thank you. so much. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks Chef. Guys. Thank you. Blue Team. So you know you're going to Vegas, but what you don't know is you'll be staying overnight at Caesar's Palace. Incredible. And if that wasn't enough, we're going to get on the world's tallest Ferris wheel, 500 feet, the Link High Roller. Nice. Uh, one more thing. Ladies, it's quite a big thing. You want to go like that. Earmuffs. Arriving in Vegas is important. So you've got your own private plane. <laughs> Get out of it and have some fun. Oh my God, I'm about to go to Vegas for the first time. <laughs> Millie out, wheels up, I'm gone. Choo!